with Trophy West in British Columbia, right off Vancouver Island, and we are going spotting and stalking for coastal black bears. This week on The Archer's Choice, we're going on the ultimate bear hunt. We and are. We're going to head up to British Columbia. Right. Trophy, Trophy West, West, Glen Venus, yep. and everybody. Oh, it's going to be fun. We're going to spend a week on a boat. On a big boat, because if it was a little boat, I'd get motion sickness and throw up. It's a big up. boat. This whole week while we were up there, they were catching crabs and prawns, and they catching were fishing, crabs. and we ate all kinds of great food. But it wasn't about the food, it was about the amazing bear hunts oh, that we had. Oh my gosh. You wait for that tide to go out. Oh, and these bears, bears just come out, out of all the thick rainforest. This week's lucky logo is Spy Point. When you're looking to find something in the woods, trust Spy Point. Nice. Thank you. Watch for the logo at the end of the show. We'll tell you what to do with that. But we had so much fun. This is actually going to be a two-part show. Next week we're going to have part two as well because we have so many encounters and some right. great bear footage well, and, that we need And to you share. hunted, obviously, the first few days of as course, usual. I always hunt first. Just remember that. I know. Remember she said that. <laughs> Remember she said that, because on Facebook people go, how come you don't let Vicky hunt? She always hunts first. She just lets roll first. Okay. Oh, it's a good time hunting with Ralph and Vicky. We have a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, we've done it for a long time, actually quite a few years. Uh, really enjoy uh, having them up. They hunt with us every year and uh, it's uh, just a lot of fun. We have a riot. We are loading up the Grizz. Thanks, son. You know, I can tell you, I think the last time we did the, the ultimate bear hunt with Trophy West was uh, about five years ago. And to return is incredible. To experience it again, we just couldn't wait. And last time we were here, man, the weather was not pleasant. You ready, Glenn? Yep. Push it off. All aboard. Oh, hey, The hunt we're doing is, uh, we call it our boat hunt. It's run uh, in the waters between Vancouver Island and Knights Inlet uh, on the west coast of British Columbia. It's run on uh, a 23-foot boat we hunt off, cruising the beaches. We walk some estuaries, uh, watch the bears uh, feeding along the beaches at low tide, and then we stay on uh, the larger boat. We loaded up the little grizz with all of our gear, and we headed across the straits there to the knit -nat, where we're at now on the boat. This is the floating lodge. This is where we're gonna be hunting out of for the whole week of bear hunting. Big tugboat, it is absolutely beautiful. Matt and Shelly own it, they run it, and they are wonderful hosts. Well, hello there. Good to see you again. How are you? Doing good, you? Great. Hi, Woody. What's going on? Good Hi, see you, girl. You know, a lot of people ask us year after year, why do you go to a lot of the same outfitters? Well, it's pretty simple, is we know that if we air a show that anybody going to the same spot, same area, same outfitter, are gonna have the results or better than what we do. And we feel very confident in that. And that's why we return year after year to Trophy West. Glenn Venus and his crew are just unbelievable. I mean, game, oh my gosh, man. Vancouver Island, you talk about bears, coastal bears. I don't think there's anyone better on the island. Well, we are gonna go check some crab traps. We just got onto the boat and we are heading to go check some crab traps with Matt so we can get us some fresh crabs for dinner. So we're gonna go check these, come back, have some lunch, get ready to go bear hunting. Tide's high at noon, 
head out about one o'clock and start watching the tides go down, look for those big black ruins. Yes. Don't worry, guys. It's okay. We just want to eat you. A few keepers. Are they a certain size? Yeah. And do they have to like be male or female too, or no? Yes. This is the measuring for our waters, and it's from that point to that point. Okay. So that one's a keeper. See how wide that is? Yeah. That's a female. Okay. That's oh. narrow. That's a male. Okay. And this is where the eggs come out. Gotcha. Okay. Females always go back. It's a male. Yeah. All righty. That's a male. He's a keeper. Ow. Look how that one's heavy. That's a DD, yeah. That's a heavy one. Holy, look at that. I'm eating that one. It's another heavy one. That's a DD, yeah. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, go by your friend. Ooh, ooh, yeah. She's really trying to get me. Look at all those eggs. Those are all her eggs coming out there. On her bottom side? Ah! No, I couldn't. She was going to clap me. I now have a pinch. I've got worm wounds. I've been pinched. You've been crabbing. All right, there's dinner. First day out. I'm up. I get to take out my Hoyt, and we're out in the Grizz looking for bears. I'll tell you, hunting these coastal black bears with the little Grizz, and you're traveling in and out of these inlets and these waterways, and it, man, it, it, it's amazing. You start seeing these bears, and, and everything is dictated by the tide. So the tide's going to be uh, low in the morning. When we get up, we'll have uh, huntable beaches. And then as the tide comes back in, we'll be forced off the water and then it'll be low all afternoon and into the evening. And it gets better all week. We have more morning tide to hunt with. So every day that goes by, it's that much, uh, that much better. And as, as the tide goes out, it's gonna reveal more and more crabs and everything else that the bears want. They're gonna come out of the dark timber, come to those shorelines, start rolling rocks, eating some of that fresh grass that the, the ocean just opened back up to them. And that's where they're gonna be, and that's what we're looking for. When that tide starts going out, all of a sudden, you're cruising all these little inlets and, oh, there's a bear, there's a bear, there's a bear. When you're hunting coastal black bears like we're doing off of the boat and you're driving around looking for these bears on the coastline, you're glassing all the time. You know, good optics is an awesome thing to have. You make sure it's, it's, it's the one you're looking for and, well, you put a stalk on them. We spotted a bear. Glenn and Ken figured out the wind, where we needed to go, how we're going to do it. They dropped Kenneth, Ken and I off on a point and we had to kind of haul our booties around the rocks, up through the timber a couple times, come back down and try to keep getting up on this bear. We were doing really good. We got, we got to 40 yards and there was a limb covering his, his vitals, the lower part of his vitals at 40. My Hoyt said at 40, I can do this, but that limb made me nervous. As we got closer, we got to like probably less than 30 yards and at that point, that bear just knew there was something wrong. We had the wind still in our favor, but that sense that they have, he knew it, he took off running and that was the end of the first stalk. If we had a, got another four yards, we would have popped out at exactly, That's exactly 30 yards. As you started walking, I yeah. already moved my pin to 30. Yeah. Because I had it at 40 back there, and I'm like, yeah. we're going to be 30. I'm like, turn my pin to 30. We almost had it. Thanks, Next one. That's great. That was a Good heck stock. of a stock. I mean, they dropped us off around that point. And we went in and up and out and around. We and that blacktail didn't help. Just another 15 yards past it. Yeah, staring so, at us. Yeah. But so where do we got to go? 
Let's go out here see if we can see, see if, if it's deep enough can there pick to pick up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Close, huh? Forty. Oh, we were in. Thirty. Okay, Ralph calls me crabby all the time. So, but look at grab the crabs, cook the crabs, and now we have dinner. Look at that. It's surf and turf. This is the ultimate bear hunt. Mm -hmm. Holy we're roughing it. We have it. crab stuffed mushrooms. Oh my god. Did you notice the thing problem here is that every time we go on a hunt, it seems like all we do is film our dinner and our foods and all we do is eat. It's part of it. <laughs> and look at Woody. Oh Woody's yeah. Like, I want some Woody's of that. like yeah, Woody, so you know we are on the boat and Woody's on the boat because this is yeah. Woody's boat, huh? Just imagine having the largest seafood restaurant <laughs> at your disposal 24-7. Yeah, Vicky and I could dig this. I think one of the most important things on this particular style hunt, when you're starting to come out to Vancouver Island, you know, hunt with Glenn and the guys, and, and that is optics. Please don't come out here with, with a fairly cheap pair of, of optics because glassing is probably about 90% of what you're gonna do. You're looking all day long for that one opportunity. And then when you spot that, you wanna be able to see what it is because you don't wanna be making a long hike or take the boat way across an island or something like that and find out that it's a sow. The majority of your hunt, like any Western hunt, is gonna be done with great optics. Once you spot a bear, you gotta figure out the winds, where he's at, which way he's gonna go, what you think that bear is gonna do, which of course is gonna be almost impossible to figure out. We're into our third bear, and this one looks like it's a, a taker. Hopefully it lets the old Hoyt get close. Well, as luck would have it, you know, we had two beautiful days and, you know, Vicky said, well, you know what, after that second day and running back and forth and just having some bad luck, they decided to say, hey, Ralph, it's your turn. Well, it looks like, it actually looks like it's lightening up. The problem is where we've been waiting to get to all day. We had a sow grizzly and about a two-year-old cub, but we're not going on that side. We're gonna work our way this way and go through. There's a couple little fingers there, so I'm gonna see if we can, Maybe we can get on a blackie.
Lo and behold, we made our way about 400 yards and sure enough, I'm hunting for 20 minutes and we spot a bear. And this bear's got, he's a little jacked up. I mean, we could see that he's hurting. Not that he's not paying attention, he doesn't have any of his sense. I mean, he's full alert, he's, he's eating grass, but he literally is scarred. And Glenn right away said, man, that bear's been, that bear's been attacked by a grizz. And we could see him and we figured, you know what? We should take this bear no matter what. I mean, th this bear, he's, he's very skinny, even though he's out there eating, uh, he's, it's gonna be rough for him to make it through. So we end up, we made our decision, and uh, we tried to close that distance and got within about 40 yards. He stood up, I think he heard something, froze. He goes back down the feed and he turned and he started coming out of the stump and I figured, you know, he's probably gonna be about 35 yards, come back to full draw, settled down right on him, fairly quartered away and just punched him. You know, this bear hunt's crazy here because we, Vicki hunted the first two days. She had some phenomenal stalks. I mean, breathtaking, I mean, just out of this world, except nothing would fall into place. Lo and behold, I start hunting today, this morning. The weather was horrible all day. The weather never broke till now. And we had a bear, and this bear looks like he's been mauled. We had a grizzly sow and cub over here. We, we played that wind real tight, got within 40 yards of this bear. And I mean, my first time out, and I get a shot. Sorry, Vic. So you went that way. You know, I don't care who you are at this moment. Every time you, you shoot at an animal, you want to find him right away. There's blood on that branch right there. He walked this log. Look at, boom, boom, boom. Boom. What, Glenn? Oh, man, this guy's old. I'm gonna tell you what. We tracked him all the way here. I believe I got one lung. But we did the right thing, because Glenn knows his bears. And he said, we are in heavy grizzly country. Nice melon on him, look at that girth. But here, now some people would say, why, I wouldn't shoot him. Here's the thing, this bear is in bad shape. He's, you can see he's not gaining weight, you know, no. he's feeding, but he's fading. He's got bad wounds in there. He is just torn up. You could see holes. That nice knocking on him, bro. Yes, you know? sir, he's a beautiful but bear. just too, too crap. Anyways, buddy. Glenn, thank you. Nice man, work. You are the man. Nice work, nice work. You are the man. Yeah, your wife is not. Um, she's thrilled for you, Ralph, but after all the walking she did, she said, it's just not fair. It's just not fair. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, we as hunters are also conservationists, and we had to make a call on that bear, and, and I, had, I have no regrets whatsoever. That, was, that bear ended up going 6'6". Six, six. You know, he's real gaunt, real skinny, but that's because, man, he, he, it, he had a rough ride. To get that bear, and then to get up in that rainforest terrain, and it was, wow, was it crazy hiking through there. And we actually, on our way in there, we find a fresh grizzly bed where he had killed another black bear and eaten it. I mean, it, this is what you experience here. And I, to, to be part of that, to know you're, you're in the territory of the grizzlies with the black bears, I, I mean, it's just, that's pretty cool. And to have the honor and the opportunity to take a bear like that with my Hoyt, it just doesn't get any better. Congratulations. Yep, well, you know, we, we let you hunt for the first I know, few days. I hunted for two days, and then I'm like, you know, Ralph, maybe you should hunt, and then it rained, which was okay. But you only hunted for like 20 minutes. Like, you got off of the boat on the shore, you go like less than 200 yards. I'm watching it from the big boat going, are you kidding me? They all squat down, and they all get excited about going and shooting a bear. <laughs> How does that work? I hiked my butt off in those hills. You know, honey, this Maybe you should learn that, you know, experience and knowledge and true I don't have my boots on right now and, and it's getting hunters deep. that This week's Lucky Man logo was me. Spy Point. If you yeah. happen to see the Spy Point logo, you need to log on to archerschoice.com, click on the Lucky Logo button, fill out some information. Someone's going to win stuff from Spy Point as well as a lot of our other manufacturers. Spy Point, baby. Next week, part two, Trophy West, BC, Vancouver Island Bears. Well, we'll see if, you know, we only got five days to hunt and maybe 
just maybe, you know, you can make it happen. Maybe. That's why you call in the big ragu and we week. bada bing, Spaghetti it's sauce. over. So next week, thank you for watching this week's show. We'll see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on the Archer's Choice. Archer's Choice.